Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be introducing you to Zen Studio's Cloud Connected Mobile Tool. This feature enables developers to easily build end-to-end -end mobile applications that span platforms and operation systems, evolve over time and pull from multiple data sources. In short, CCM allows you to create, test and publish RPC or RESTful web services to the cloud, create a mobile web user interface using HTML5 and JavaScript, bind mobile web UI widgets with your web services, and build and test native projects for iOS, Android and Windows Phone. So let's get started. Our first step is to create a new cloud connected mobile project in our workspace. To do this, select File, New, Cloud Connected Mobile Project in the menu bar. And I'm going to name my new client side mobile project, which contains the mobile application, and the server side project that contains all the back end services plumbing. The target drop down menu already contains a list of defined deployment targets, so I'm just going to pick one. In this case, a local Zen server target. Clicking Next leads me to the Templates dialog. Here we can select from a number of different templates, each with different content and code packages. For this tutorial, we're going to select the Simple Services template, which contains some implementation of exposed web services. OK, clicking Finish creates our new Cloud Connected mobile project, with two separate components displayed in the PHP Explorer, the client-side mobile project and the server-side API project. Three files are automatically displayed. The mobile app GUI editor for designing the interface of a mobile app, the config XML file for configuring and creating a native mobile app, and the gateway XML file, which is basically a graphic editor for configuring the Zen server gateway, containing and handling our backend PHP web services. Let's begin with configuring these services. As you can see, the template already includes some defined RPC and RESTful services to work with. I'm going to double click the RPC Get Customer service to view its details. We can see its URL, the Get HTTP method type, and the handler method, the actual PHP code that is going to be executed for this service. Let's take a look at this code. In this case, the service is calling the Get Customers action using the Customer Repository class and calling Customer Repository Get All. The Customer Repository is a simple CRUD class for retrieving data from the SQLite database already defined in the project. So basically the service we're looking at is reading the list of customers on the database and returning them. Services can be thoroughly tested by right-clicking and selecting Test Service, which opens the Test Service view. But before service can be tested, the project needs to be deployed. To do this, I'm going to open the Deployment XML file and click Deploy Application. My local Zen server target is already selected, so I'm just going to click Finish. Now that our project has been deployed, let's test our RPC Get Customer Service. You can see that the URL in the test service view has been automatically updated with our target, the project name, and Get Customers method. I'm going to send out the request and hopefully receive an OK response. Exploring the response details, we can see a list of the customers returned from the PHP methods. Now let's take a look at the pre-configured REST customer service for working with our list of customers. Taking a closer look at the service, we can see a list of defined methods for getting a list of all the customers, adding new customers, updating customers, and deleting customers. A list of request parameters are expected to be used when the service is called. These are already listed in the test service view. Testing this method gives us a 200 OK response with a customer's list. Let's add a new customer. I'm going to add myself in the request parameters table. and change the HTTP method to POST. Testing again, I get a 201 created response with the added customer. Retesting the GET method gives me a full list of all customers, including the one I added now. Using a nifty drag and drop feature, 
I can easily add other handlers to the Zen server gateway, such as authentication, validation, but we'll leave this for another tutorial. Now that we've tested our backend services, let's move to developing our mobile application in the client side project. In the mobile app GUI editor, we can already see some of the code included in the template we chose when we created the project, implemented and visualized in the device simulator. Using the drag and drop feature in this editor, we can quickly add and configure widgets in our mobile user interface and link them to different pages in the application or bind them to APIs on the server side. I'm going to start by adding a new page in my mobile application to handle the process of adding a new customer. On this new page, I'm going to add a button leading us back to our entry page. And on the entry point page, a button with a link to the new add customer page. Back on our new page, let's add some new data fields for filling in the request parameters. I'm giving each field I add a name and an ID. Now beneath these data fields I'm going to add a new action button to call the REST service we saw before. Finally we're going to add a text field for viewing the response from the server. What we're going to do now is link our pages and bind the add customer button to our web service. In the bind to API dialog, since I'm adding a new customer, I've selected the post method. And now I'm linking the request parameter names to the field IDs I inserted on the page. And I want to show the service response in the response text area. At any time, using the buttons on the toolbar, we can preview our work by moving to preview mode. Once you feel ready to test your development work, you can run the application on a web mobile emulator. To do this, right-click the mobile project in the PHP Explorer and select Run As Web Mobile Application. The final stage in this tutorial is to convert a mobile project into a native application, in this case a Windows Phone app, and running it on the Windows Phone emulator. Please note that to do this you'll need to install the Windows Mobile SDK. So first, in the config XML file, I'm going to click Create Windows Phone Application. The new project containing the converted application appears in the PHP Explorer. Right-clicking this application in the PHP Explorer, I can select to open the project in Microsoft's Visual Studio and continue my development work there, but in this case I'm going to run the application on the Windows Phone emulator by selecting Run As Windows Phone Application. So we can now play around with our application and see how our web services are being implemented together with our UI design.
In addition to Windows Phone, Zen Studio also allows you to create native applications for the iOS and Android platforms. For information on developing mobile applications for these platforms and additional information on Cloud Connected Mobile, please refer to the Zen Studio online documentation at www.zen.com.